asking what to expect and uh, we're, we're in spring here but I have to say many of us kind of feel like we're stuck in winter because we still got our boots out we still have to wear our jackets coats you name it I got it all on right now yeah. to <laughs> mm -hmm. put it away take it back out and uh, yeah it looks like we're gonna have to keep at least the the late fall let's call it that late fall attire out for a couple more weeks because even when we look at the 8 to 14 day predictions it still looks like temperatures may be running below average into May not as cold today though that is a bonus but we do unfortunately have another freeze warning tonight actually tomorrow morning 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. like we've seen and then milder tomorrow overall so our temperatures actually do rebound tomorrow but there will be more rain on the way by the end of the week and that will also lead to those up and down temperatures 48 degrees at Romulus and we're looking at 48 also in Ann Arbor 45 degrees in Pontiac and 43 Port Huron so low to mid 40s puts us below average again for this time of the year west to northwest winds on the lighter side though as we go into the afternoon so winds only about five miles per hour maybe upwards of eight at times so definitely light here are all those freeze warnings covering most of the southern half of lower Michigan outside of the thumb now as we go through the afternoon today you may get one of those stray sprinkles or brief shower through the thumb and that is just sort of that lake enhanced a little bit of instability in the colder air it looks very localized the cold front down to the south though doing its job north of it temperatures in the 40s to mid 50s. So we are looking at that colder pocket of air just kind of blocked and stuck in place through the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes right now. So our temperatures in the low 50s this afternoon will drop back down into the 30s. Some areas close to the freezing mark and those are typically outside of course of the city and then temperatures tomorrow will rise back into the upper 50s a little closer to what we typically see for a daytime high. At least when we get closer to 60, we're pretty much uh, at least closer to being on track. So we look at our hour by hour forecast and we go through time here as we get into the afternoon. Again, you can see a few showers uh, near Alpena, maybe a few more through the thumb. Very brief, very light, and then things are clear and cold for tonight. So we'll see a clearing sky, some sunshine tomorrow. Tomorrow, any rain or snow, in fact, will pass to our north. We'll stay dry Friday morning. We're setting the stage for more rain. The rain comes through Friday and it looks like we're going to see the circulation coming and going throughout the day on Friday. So Friday, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a wet and cool day. And then the second half of Saturday, more showers for the weekend. So temperatures today, you're going to find chilly temperatures near the water, low 50s for a good part of Metro Detroit, and then temperatures in the upper 50s tomorrow, mid 50s on Friday. And then we'll set the stage, maybe a little bit of a warm up for Saturday. Temperatures do stay on the cool side into next week.